There was chaos at club football's biggest match in Europe. The tear gas from people at the, at the gates, it's absolutely ridiculous. The scenes of riots in Paris are a reminder of the challenges Qatar faces as it prepares to host one of the world's largest sporting events. Qatar is coordinating with multiple countries to provide security for the World Cup. The UK military is providing manpower to patrol the sea and skies and support counterterrorism operations. Turkey is sending a team of about 3,200 people, including riot police, special operations forces, and bomb experts. With less than six months to go before as many as a million fans descend on Doha, the capital is a massive construction zone. The organizing committee has allocated 130,000 rooms in hotels, cruise ships, and desert camps. Qatar Airways is partnering with airlines in neighboring Oman, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and the Emirates to fly fans to and from matches on the same day. However, the biggest concern is accommodation, as hotels and other infrastructure are unfinished. Accommodations will be uh, in short supply because the volume in every FIFA, even if it is in a big country like South Africa, like Russia, like anywhere else, there has always been a shortage of accommodation. So we are not unique. Criticism persists about the treatment of the army of migrant workers who have made this World Cup a reality. However, the government says it's implemented reforms and working conditions have improved. He's going to be While addressing the World Economic Forum in Davos, the Emir highlighted his hopes for the tournament. Our region has suffered for so long. Hosting the World Cup will give hope to the youth across the region and making the lasting contribution to the world. FIFA estimates as many as 5 billion people will watch the Qatar 2022 World Cup. In the glare of the global spotlight, this country of fewer than 3 million knows all too well it can't miss an open goal. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Doha.